Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to be rebuilding the slingshot on a Williams solar fire. First thing you should always do is take pictures. I'm not taking pictures because I've rebuilt these plenty of times where I feel confident in what I'm doing. Plus, I have a mirror right here of the exact same thing. So, we are pretty cool with that. First part is going to be these four screws. We're going to take them out. <coughs> and we will place them off to the side. Hey, are you a subscriber? Do you subscribe to Mark's Basement Arcade? If not, please do. Um, over 60% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribers. But they are repeat watchers. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And it lets you know when my next videos are coming out. You don't have to watch them, but it just lets you know. And for some reason it says my camera is unplugged. Power-wise. So we'll plug it back in. There we go. Alright. Now we got two screws. Let's take this out right away. I'm going to wash this off. Okay, but I'm going to drop my nut driver on my foot first. Alright. Springs. I like cleaning them off. Like this one. I cleaning off and I can feel it feels like it's a little rusty. I will find out once I clean it off the rest of the way. Sometimes they do get a little rusty just from um, being in a machine. It is not. But I'm going to show you what to do if it is. You can just take your green um, 3M scrubby pad and just go like this. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it turn it and that will get the rustiness off you can see it's nice and shiny it just had some good cake down dirt so it felt like it was rusty but it wasn't all right now we got two screws right here there are screws on this side and nuts on this side usually you can just break them totally loose with your nut driver and then hold them with your finger and take the nuts off the back, throw them in your parts, take the screw out, throw it in your parts, rinse, wash, repeat. I did set it wrong, didn't I? This coil bracket will come off. And clean it. Get that all shiny. Nice and shiny. Put it on the parts. Slip the coil off. Now we will go and clean this. We will inspect the coil stop, which is in good condition. This whole thing is the coil stop. So if you need a coil stop, you have to buy this whole slingshot bracket. clean get that clean right there we'll get the coil sleeve comes out real nice we will save that for a little bit in case we can't get the original new sleeve well not the original put the new sleeve back in if we can't do that but I don't see why not I need more naphtha I use naphtha out of this little container because I don't recontaminate my supply by dumping it, my towel on it and shaking the can on my towel. 
so I see a lot of people that do that so if I put it in a separate container and use an eyedropper and just drop what I need on it I get the precise amount I want and it stays uncontaminated I'm not messing with a giant can And that is some baked on junk that we're not going to worry about. Coil sleeve. Can I get a new one in? Yep. I had a problem with the um, flipper before. See how I'm associating it like this? This way I know the coil went back on like that. Bracket. You don't have to rebuild it all right away you can take it all apart disassemble it and then rebuild it piece by piece you, you know once you have it all cleaned I'm just like well I got this done it's clean why not just take it and put it back together it's out of my way and then all the screws and everything are out of my way and I don't mix anything up but these screws are just specific to this part only. Now I'm going to hold this metal bracket down tight to the coil and push on the screw at the same time. Now I'll keep it from spinning and then I'll do the same one on the, well, the opposite one on the other side. Give those a crank. You don't have to heme on them. Just get them so they're snug and tight. They do have lock washers. If they don't have lock washers, you should put some on. Now that will go back on there when we're done. As of now, it's in our way. So what we need to do is take these two screws out because they hold part of that bracket down. which will be part of the switch. And the switch needs to be cleaned. So we will take my buzzer. My bu buzzer is just this Harbor Freight Dremel with a real Dremel 443 bit on the end. I'm just gonna go between it and clean the contact. You can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It does clean up beautifully. Makes it nice and shiny. Alright, now we use the nut driver and take one screw out there. One nut screw. One bolt. It's really like a screw with a nut head on it. That will go there. Tool will go back there. This will pull right out. We are going to disassemble this and take this off. So, where did I put my little pliers? Right here. You can take a picture of this. However, I got a mirror image over there. And I rebuilt these several times, so I kind of know what goes where. But if you haven't rebuilt them, I would say every piece you take off, take a picture for your own peace of mind. And don't be like me and lose clips. I heard it drop. I know it's on the floor. If not, I have more. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it. Like, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on camera looking for it. 
not, I'll pause it, look for it, and you get back. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to pause it, and I'm going to find it, and I'll be right back. Like I say, that's funny. You can hear things drop and hit the floor, but it's like, where do they go? So, lucky for me, as I said, buy new ones and keep them in stock. Because you will lose stuff. And I heard it drop. I clearly heard it drop. I heard it hit the carpet. So, who knows where it went. Alright. So now we got this apart. Let's get this cleaned. Yeah, that's funny. Just disappeared in the, the abyss. You know what, we'll find it though, my vacuum cleaner. Once I get this whole rig down, I'll be able to see it really good. But yeah, as of right now, I can't see it, but I know it's down there. But it will get found. I've always found them, except for one. I never found one spring for a pop bumper. Never, ever. I don't know where the hell it went. I've never found it. That was a few years ago. So I don't know what happened to it. Never got found. I'm sure it's in some weird spot. I heard it drop. And it made a loud noise. So I don't know if it hit the floor and bounced off. I mean if it never hit the floor. Maybe it's on my tray that I can't see. That's a part of the sawhorses that I'm on. Or what. Alright, this is all clean. Don't need to clean the other one because it's brand new. I didn't clean this piece. The Bakelite piece, the link. Got the spring cleaned. Then I'll take this. Yeah, that's crazy how that happens. I've had that happen before where I heard it drop and I couldn't find it. And then once I moved everything, it was just like right there. My eyes aren't the best anymore. I can see stuff when I get my bi look through my bifocals, but it's hard to look through them. All right, Q-tip. Get one out of here. So weird, I heard that thing. A little naphtha on it. Can this be able to clean right out here? Ooh, it's dirty. I just dropped my buzzer. Now this, we're gonna do something a little different. Okay, I need a toothpick. like your waist and Novus mark yeah kind of kind of not however the Novus 2 rub it on here make this end look that much nicer normally I'd use a what do you call it microfiber towel to do this this deep cleans it gets all the gunk off 
This makes it look a little nicer. Don't you think so? It's clean. Uh, this is the part I'm really worried about the most, cleaning this. So that's where the rubber will be riding. There. That's clean. Now, what we will do is get a little lube. A little bit to lubricate this. Right there. We're going to lube the just outside edge of this and just the outside edge of that because it's metal to metal. And as that goes like that, this will go like that. All right. You're getting crazy, Mark. So I know that was right. See, that's why you should take pictures. That's why you should take pictures. And you know what? That doesn't go on there. That's no reason why you should take pictures. And we will wipe the grease off of it now because it's got a little bit on there. And put that back on here. That. And there, the new clip on there. Boy, is that tight fit too, which is nice. And this will go down like that. The switch is right over the top of it and holds it down. Actually, I got it wrong. There. The switch goes underneath the plunger. I feel like dropping something down on the floor to see where it bounces. I never looked like behind me. I just looked underneath the table. As I'm tightening this down, I'm going to look behind me. No, I still don't see it. Get that loosen just a little bit. using the screwdriver with no power to tighten it. That's good. Spring goes like that. There's a tiny end of the spring and a large opening. You can see it's kind of like cone shaped, small, large. Small goes at the end of the spring here. This is another one you got to worry about binding. There. Binding is if you put the push the plunger down wrong got to be on a certain little angle. It will be hard to put the assembly down, but then uh, the slingshot won't go up and down. So as long as it goes up and down as you're tightening it, it's in the right spot. And I like to put two of these screws 
in opposite corners like this. That way it lines up the next two holes. Oh, it's like butter. It's August 21st. Yeah, August 21st. Let's say it's August 21st, 2022. Right now. For a date stamp, I like doing that on occasion. That's the day I'm working on this. It's my birthday week. If that makes any importance. There. I like doing a date stamps because then you can actually see how far ahead I am in videos. So I've had a couple people that are like, oh, you're making all this weird stuff just for content. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm very far ahead of videos. I just make weird stuff because I like weird stuff and I figure other people would like weird stuff too. So that's why I make weird stuff, other weird videos. And these are not clean. find out real quick because I don't remember if I cleaned it or not. I usually do. I just worked on a couple mechs today, not all on video, so I don't know if I clean this or not. Yes I did. Let's go over it one more time. It's not gonna hurt. I didn't clean it. Looks like I did. Looks like I cleaned it. If I didn't, well, it got cleaned again. It's not going to hurt it. It's not going to hurt it. Not one bit. Not one bit. Cleaning it twice. That's what's nice about this Dremel. You're not gonna screw anything up by over cleaning. That's it. It's rebuilt. So now you learned how to rebuild a slingshot on a Williams Solar Fire or basically on any other Williams of this era or basically any other style pinball because these, let's face it, they rebuild the same. They all rebuild the same. So next video will be probably this flipper here. So um, I guess that's about it. Take care bottom here look right here see the stuff on the bottom somewhere here there'd be cool stuff for you if you're interested look in the description see if you want to buy some swag or just directly support mark's basement arcade by a gift through paypal or um whatever cool you can find out some interesting stuff anyways please subscribe like take care thumbs up and later